Hey folks, today we're going to cover what your graft choices are when you're considering having ACL surgery. I'm Dr. Howard Lux. I'm an orthopedic surgeon in Westchester County, New York. I run a pretty active website. We get approximately 250,000 of you to that website each and every month. Uh, you're looking for information that's easy to understand and that's really what I see as my goal is to provide that to you. So, ACL tears. ACL tears are unfortunately becoming very common, especially for our young athletes. Um, and adults are staying active a lot longer, so they're tearing their ACLs as well. Now keep in mind, the indication or reason to have ACL surgery is the fact that your knee is unstable and you plan on participating in class one sports or sports that involve a lot of cutting, turning, pivoting, and twisting. So your knee is unstable and you've decided with your surgeon to have an ACL reconstruction. What graft are you going to choose? Should you choose an allograft or a graft from a cadaver? Should you choose to have a graft from your own tissue? If so, which of the choices available should you proceed with? Now, let's start with kids. Kids uh, have open growth plates. That means that they're still growing from the bottom of the femur and the top of their tibia. We don't have many options with them. We can't use the patella tendon. Uh, the literature research is really clear. You cannot use an allograft or cadaveric graft on anyone under the age of 21 unless you want a really high risk of failure. So our two main choices for children, especially those with open growth plates, are the hamstring tendon or the quadricep tendon. Now, there's some literature out there that shows that a hamstring is uh, similar to a uh, patella tendon, but there's other research out there that shows that the revision rate or the chance of you needing another surgery and tearing your ACL again is slightly higher in that hamstring group. So what are you gonna do? Um, the quadricep tendon has become a very reasonable choice. Um, it's a larger incision, it's uh, off of the top of your kneecap, uh, but it usually provides a good, thick, healthy, soft tissue graft uh, for a knee where that child is skeletally immature or still has these open growth plates. Now, let's consider older teenagers, young adults, um, Still, you're going to stay away from allografts. Allografts have an unacceptably high rate of failure in this group of patients. Um, but now the bone patella tendon bone graft uh, is also a choice similar to the hamstring and the quadricep tendons. So uh, you really can't go wrong with any of the grafts. There are staunch advocates of a bone patella tendon bone graft. And as I mentioned you know, before, there are some papers that show that there's a chance that uh, you will tear the graft again and that's slightly higher in the hamstring group. But there are a lot of happy hamstring tendon patients out there. Now, one caveat, young girls. Young girls tend to be quadricep dominant. That means that their the quadriceps are much stronger than their hamstrings. So you don't want to have to go taking one of their hamstring tendons to reconstruct their ACL. That's going to throw them off even more and potentially increase the risk of future injury or re-injuring their ACL. Now, um, in sprinters or people who really need to take off quickly and perhaps in certain elite athletes, I would also stay away from a hamstring graft. Um, for contact athletes, uh, there is some research showing that a bone patella tendon bone uh, graft is probably your best choice. Now, middle-aged adults, young adults, you do have an option of using an allograft. Uh, there is a small chance you'll get back to work a little sooner. Um, there's no real literature showing that your risk of re-injury or re-rupture is higher than that if you had your own tissue. Of course, with allografts, there is a theoretical risk of disease transmission. We haven't really had one of those <clears throat> in a really long time. Uh, I can't remember a report going back 10 years. 
Um, but there always is a theoretical risk um, associated with allographs. So you have all the graph choices available to you, um, that being your own tissue, the quadricep, patella tendon, or hamstrings, as well as uh, an allograph, which is from a cadaver. Now, what about those of you who have had previous ACL surgery? Well, if you've had your hamstrings taken, we can use the quadricep or patella tendon graph. If you had the quadricep tendon graft taken um, or patella tendon taken, you can take the other. Um, and in elite athletes, uh, where we really like to use a bone patella tendon bone graft, sometimes we even take the graft from the other knee. That sounds a little strange, but uh, it's, it's a little uncomfortable taking a graft from an otherwise normal knee but that has been done with uh, good success. So I hope that clears things up a bit if your graft choice is available uh, for ACL surgery. Bye.